Hello, what's up, YouTube world? This is Steven again. It is 4.04 p.m. on November 10th of 2014, and my parents are out of the house right now. My mom is going to physical rehab for her wrist, like I mentioned in part two of my what I've been doing in the past 17 months of my life video. Uh, my dad is with her right now, helping her through her physical therapy of her wrist. Um, so I'm making this video right now while they're out at the uh, rehab center. So I want to talk about what I have been doing with my books since um, since I made my last video back in May of 2013. So here, so here we go. What I've been doing um, with my books is I made a fifth Domino Effect book. It's titled Domino Effect 5, The Fallout of Oakstown. And unfortunately, I actually don't have a um, front cover copy to show you because I actually only made a computer copy of this. So I'm just going to be telling you what it's about. Domino Effect 5, The Fallout of Oakstown is about uh, two people named Colby Ivy and Maggie Ivy. Um, Maggie is nine months pregnant at the time, and what happens is um, her water breaks pretty much, which means she's pretty much getting ready to have her baby. And um, they drive to the hospital, and what happens is the uh, mayor of Oakstown comes on the TV and pretty much says that Oakstown really isn't a uh, safe haven anymore or a safe place to live or anything like that. And what they're going to do is uh, blow, the, blow the city up and irradiate the whole city, which will make it like impossible to live and everything. So what's going to happen is um, he makes like an announcement on the television and he says that they're going to blow up and irradiate Oakstown. And this is while um, Maggie is in the hospital getting ready to have her son named Thomas Ivy and uh, so she warns everyone who's in that uh, preg pregnancy um, floor of the hospital and she gets them to all go outside and while she's outside she's actually having her baby and the other pregnant ladies have to help her because the Osan hospital is getting ready to be pretty much destroyed with Colby in it. So actually just a spoiler off the bat, Colby actually dies. And what happens is, and here's the pretty good twist about it, it's actually Maggie that had the main premonition. However, it isn't Maggie who is having the visions throughout the story. What happens is, um, since she had her son Thomas, um, it pretty much cheated all of the women that were supposed to die out of their pending doom. And now, 23 months later, Thomas and all of his friends, I'm not quite sure how many there were that I wrote up, it's probably about six, five or six, um, are all grown up. They go through Oakstown University, all seven of like six or seven of them, I guess, go through Oakstown University, remaining friends, and while they're 23, Thomas says, you know what, we just graduated, I want to give you guys a really nice trip. And he asks them, have you ever heard of Oakstown? And then his friends are like, yeah, that's the place that got irradiated and blown up when we were born, right? And he said, yeah, I want to go back and visit my hometown. Who wants to do it with me? And he raises his hand, saying like he's in and everything. And um, pretty much everyone doesn't really like the idea. And... Uh, Later on, like a couple minutes later on, pretty much, they're like, um, yeah, sure, why not? I'll go back with, I'll go back there with you. And then what happens is, since Thomas was born by Maggie, who had the main premonition, it's actually Thomas right now who is having all these visions and everything. And it is actually his friends who die one by one in the order that their parents would have died in the hospital. I know it sounds really confusing what I'm saying right now, but if you think about it for a second, in the order their parents were supposed to die in Maggie's main premonition is the order that their kids are going to die in all of Thomas's visions. So hopefully you understood that. And this happens throughout the book until everyone's gone. And that's pretty much it. The rest you're going to have to find out for yourself. Um, so yeah. And another side note, before I move on to my next point, 
that I'm going to make in this video talking about my next book that I did. Domino Effect 1 and Domino Effect 2 have been self-published on a self-publishing website called lulu.com. That's L-U-L-U dot -L -U com. And they run for Domino Effect 1 is about $15.80. Domino Effect 2 is $15. I'm looking on possibly lowering those prices just because I think I've only had one person buy Domino Effect 1 so far. And uh, it's just people aren't really looking into buying, paying for that much for books as of right now. So I'm looking to lower the prices if possible in order for me to still make a decent profit at least. So yeah, um, those two have been published on lulu.com. So if you want to go there, type in Domino Effect and, and uh, look for my name. It's Steven with a PH, by the way. So yeah, look for my name. And the the uh, cover will show a, for Domino Effect, will show a domino with a, with one dot on the domino. And for Domino Effect 2, Grab Death by the Horns, the domino will show two dots indicating the second book. And I'm looking to get um, three dots on the third, fourth dots on the fourth, and five dots on the fifth for those to be self-published. So yeah, um... Now that I got that out of the way, I'm going to move on to my next book. My next book is was titled Full Count. That was the one I was thinking about writing but wasn't sure. I actually managed to finish it. And I started right before I graduated from VCU, so around late April or early May, I would say. Um, probably after I finished my only mandatory final that I had. Um, so I started around early not early, late April, early May, and this is actually my first book that qualified as a novel. It's about 204 pages total and almost 60,000 words. In order to qualify for a novel, it has to be at least 50,000. So this book, I also don't have a front cover to show you because I only have a computer copy as well. This book is about a guy named Andrew Davidson, and what happens is he's playing high school baseball. Currently, he's 18, and what happens is he takes a a, pit, a fastball pitch about 90 or 91 miles per hour to the head, and what happens is his helmet flies off. The helmet has a huge crack in it from the impact of the ball to the helmet, and he just stiffens up like a board and falls like a sack of potatoes. And... He goes into a coma for about five years, I would say, and then when he wakes up, he meets the love of his life, he gets married to her, and he has a son named Henry, I think his name is Henry Davidson, and his wife's name is Cassidy, and I'm pretty sure I mentioned the guy's name is Andrew Davidson, uh, so yeah, then after that, he goes to a job that he's been working at for quite, for quite a few years, uh, called Westmoreland Productions, and it's actually a sales company, and what happens is his his boss brings him into his office and says, I want to have a talk with you about your revenue. Your sales are pretty much nowhere, or not even close to where they need to be for how long you've been here. You've only had like however many dollars in sales in your tenure for how long you have been here has got to be at least like a hundred thousand or something like that and he and he's only had about half of that and people that haven't even been here as long as half as half the time he has is already doing better than him so uh, Andrew told him that he has a traumatic brain injury that pretty much um, limits him to whatever he can whatever sales he can make and everything and his boss is telling him that he's giving him that excuse every time but it's anyone who has like a mental illness or something like that pretty much has a good excuse and even though he has a traumatic brain injury he's still fair he's still very high functioning and everything so he can even drive himself to work and everything he's that high functioning and what happens is he gets fired and when he gets all the stuff packed out of his cubicle into his car and when he goes home he doesn't want to talk to his wife he doesn't want to talk to his kid he just goes upstairs slams the door and goes to bed and when his wife comes up, he's already still, he's still awake in his bed at about, I'd say, 11 or 12 at night. And, and uh, she said, we'll get everything sorted out, I promise. And then he says, yeah, maybe. And she asks him, what do you mean by that? And he says, never mind, good night. 
and then at about 3.30 or so in the morning, he wakes up, goes down to, to the uh, kitchen and asks him, and asks himself, like, why did God keep me here? Why did God not, like, have me go to heaven, like, when I got hit by a baseball that was, in, at that time, that was 16 years back. And so he looks in his kitchen at the knife rack and grabs the longest, sharpest, shiniest knife in that rack and, and holds it up and, and tells himself, God, finish what, please finish what you have left, left undone 16 years ago and is about to stab himself. So before that point hits, Henry, came, his son Henry came downstairs and asks his dad, what are you doing? And he tells Henry, you know, I'm just making myself a late night snack. I'm just going to make myself a sandwich, eat it, and go back to bed. And Henry's like, okay, good night. So yeah, pretty much his son saved himself from doing that. And then the next day, he sees that there's tryouts for their for their minor league baseball team called the West Moreland Wildcats. And so he goes to try out, and pretty much he's the only one trying out, so the coach asks him, how would you like to be a part of of the Westmoreland Wildcats and Andrew says I love it I would love to and then from that point on that's how the story continues and uh, I self I self published that one on Lulu as well this runs for about eighteen dollars since it's a lot longer since it's a lot longer both than the Domino Effect books it runs for about eighteen dollars and I'm hopefully looking to get this one in Barnes and Noble as well I'm at least hoping to, so that hopefully my name can get out there and everything even more with this. So yeah, I want to mention one more thing as well. Um, after, and this is after I get Domino Effect 3 Sink or Swim, Domino Effect 4 Inferno, and Domino Effect 5 The Fall of Oak Town self-published. After I get these typed up on my computer and self-published, I'm looking on on writing yet another book. Um, this one isn't going to be a Domino Effect book, it's not going to be a full count book. It will, however, be another horror fiction book, and I'm thinking about tiling it beyond the casket, I think I mentioned. Um, I'm not going to tell you what this is going to be about, because it's going to be quite some time until I get to start typing it up, even if I do type it up. So, um, it will be tiled beyond the casket, if I do so, and once again, if you haven't joined the uh, Download Effect fa fan page on Facebook, send me an invite. I'd be glad to add you. I don't really post that much stuff on there anymore because all the Domino Effect books have been have been typed up, and I'm not really thinking about typing up anymore. And also, if you want to join the Full Count page on Facebook, I have a fan page for that. Since it's a standalone book, I made a fan page. Since the Domino Effect um, book is a series, I made a group page for that. So if you want to join the fan page, for full count, go to that as well, and I'd be glad to add you. And Beyond the Casket should be coming later on down the line. Uh, so yeah, pretty much that was about it for my books. What I want to do, since I'm pretty much back on YouTube, and my parents will actually be moving out about a month or two from now, I want to say, I will probably probably be making a lot more videos on YouTube so I'm thinking about maybe starting to do some movie trailer reviews and I'm looking to do some more video reaction reviews video reactions to different videos like I have been doing and I'm looking to possibly um, just uh, see if y'all can come up with some ideas I'm definitely looking to to do some movie trailer reactions and reviews. I'm looking to do some more video reactions. I'm looking to talk about more about uh, my book Beyond the Casket if I actually do write it. And see if you can come up with some more ideas that I can do for videos because I'm kind of running out of ideas. And for the movies, I'm looking to getting more into the uh, horror genre more than like a variety. I'm looking into getting more into more of a horror genre. So, if you have any trailer, uh, movie trailer uh, videos that you want me to see, definitely reply in this video with some. That's about pretty much all I have as of right now. So, if you liked what you saw in the video, 
go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, comment below, and I will see you guys next time with another video. This is Steven signing out.